हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू विल बी ओके टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द थिक लेंजेस एक्चुअली अ थिक लेंस इज अ लेंस हुज थिकनेस अलॉन्ग इट्स ऑप्टिकल एक्जिस कैन नॉट बी इग्नोर्ड एज कम्पेयर टू द रेडियाई ऑफ इट्स स्पेसिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी हैव अ थिक लेंस विच इज शोन बाय द ब्लैक लाइन्स it has a thickness of let's suppose t so this lens has a thickness which can't be ignored as compared to the radii of its both faces now we are going to define different terms which are related to the thick lenses the first thing is the principal plane consider a thick lens and let's suppose this is its fr front uh, focal point and let's suppose a point object is placed here and a rays of light are coming towards the thick lens in this direction so at the first boundary a refraction will occur and the rays of light will be uh, bent towards its normal and a second refraction will also occur at the uh, back boundary of the lens so after refraction through both the faces of the lens the rays are uh, traveling parallel to the optical axis as shown now if we extend both the extended rays in the backward direction and similarly the incoming rays in the backward direction in the uh, front direction then they meet each other at a point and this point is this plane the plane which contains these points are is known as principal plane this plane is called principal plane actually this is called front principal plane and the point where this principal plane intersects the optical axis is called which is denoted by h1 this is called front principal point now if the rays initially the rays are and the ray of light are coming from very far away and those rays are actually traveling in parallel direction with the principal axis then after it strikes the front uh, face of the lens it will uh, suffer refraction and similarly another refraction will occur at the back face of the lens so after passing through the lens the, all the rays of light will meet each other uh, at a single point this point will be the back focal point of the lens which is usually represented by f2 now if we extend the emergent rays in the back direction and similarly the incoming rays in the forward direction all the rays will meet each other at these points and the plane which contain these points is known as the back principal plane this is called back principal plane while the point at the center of the lens where the optical center is Uh, where the optical axis is intersected is represented by s2 and this is called back principal point another thing 
which we are going to discuss is the nodal points so again consider a thick lens and this is let's suppose the optical axis uh, uh, along the lens let a ray of light is coming in this direction and when it strikes uh, on the front face of the thick lens so it will suffer refraction and actually there is no change in the medium so inside the lens the rays of light are traveling in the straight direction so when it reaches to the back face of the lens again there is a change in the medium so it will again refract and will move in this direction now if we extend the incident ray and the emergent ray in the back direction and it intersects the optical axis at these points which is usually represented by n1 and n2 these points are known to be the nodal point this is the front nodal point and this is the back nodal point remember in this uh, situation the incident ray and the emergent rays are actually parallel but they are uh, um, but they are out of their um, points remember that if in the front direction and in the back direction the refractive indices are the same let's suppose we have air in front and back side and here the refractive index is let's suppose nl which is the refractive index of the lens and if we consider the refract uh, the material in front and back side have the same refractive index then the then the uh, nodal points and principal points will coincide that means that the nodal point the front nodal point and the principal point will uh, occur at the same point and similarly the back nodal point and the back principal point will occur at the same point now in the next figure we are going to explain all the six cardinal points so consider a thick lens which is shown by the black lines so this is the front vortex and this one is the back vortex here is it is the front or primary focus focus point and this is the back focus point and this is the radii of its front face while this one is the radii of its back face this is the uh, primary principal point or front princ um, principal point and this one is the uh, nodal points of the front side and this one is the principal point and nodal points of the back side and let's suppose the thickness of the lens is t now if we consider the refractive index in front of the lens is n1 and the refractive index of the lens is nl and the refractive index on the back side of the lens is n2 and small f1 and f2 determines the focal length position relative to the principal points h1 and h2 notice that the focal lengths are not measured relative to the vertices they are uh, measured uh, relative to the principal points similarly the positions of the nodal points and principal points with respect to the vertices are represented by r v and similarly for the back side the nodal points and the principal points are s and w these are measured relative to the vertices now the focal lens of the thick lens relative to the principal points are here shown in these equations which are without their proofs and their, pro their proofs are already done in the earlier lectures but in that case in the in the case of thin lenses we ignore the thickness of the lens now we are taking the thickness of the lens into account 
the front focal length of the thick lens is given as the nl minus n2 where n2 is the uh, back the refractive index of the back side of the lens and n1 is the refractive index of its front side so the front focal length is nl minus n2 upon n1 r2 minus nl minus n1 upon n1 r1 minus nl minus n1 into nl minus n2 upon n1 nl into t upon r1 and r2 this is the focal length or the power of the front face of the focal length uh, of the thick lens and similarly the back side of the focal length is uh, can be determined in terms of the front focal length which is f2 is equal to minus n2 upon n1 times f1 now if the front and back side of the lens has the same medium which have the same refractive index for example in case of air where the front side and the back side of the refractive indices have the refractive index 1 then the above equation will simplify and it will become 1 over f equals to nl minus 1 times 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2 plus nl minus 1 times t divided by nl r1 r2 where nl is the refractive index of the lens and t is the uh, thickness of the lens r1 and r2 are the radii of its front faces and back face respectively similarly the distances of the word uh, of the principal points with respect to the vertices are given as nl minus n2 upon nl r2 times f1 t and similarly for the back side the distance of the principal point with respect to uh, the vertex is nl minus n1 divided by nl r1 times f2 into t similarly the position of the nodal points are given by which is the position of the first nodal points with respect to the vertex it is 1 minus n2 upon n1 plus nl minus n2 divided by nl r2 into t times f1 and similarly the position of the back nodal point with respect to the back vertex it is 1 minus n1 upon n2 minus nl minus n1 divided by nl r1 times t into f2 so all these equations there is no need for its derivation but we only have to memorize them that is for the this this equation for the effective focal length in case of the front medium and uh, back medium is same then the front focal length and back focal length will be the same and and it must be noted that while measuring the distances the sign convention must be taken into account the distances may either be positive or negative by a sign convention that makes distances directed to the left will be negative and the distances directed to the right will be taken positive thank you